when I think Chicago news, and I think I think of Linda and Sylvia. Oh, that's yeah, nice, that's right? Nice. Thank you. You know, we've had yeah. a lot of people tell us that that over the years that you know what's what's a Linda without Sylvia, or what's a Sylvia right. without a Linda? Yeah, the show itself, uh -huh. we were the first two female anchor mm -hmm. minorities as well. You know, and. Sylvia loves to tell the story too because it hadn't been done before and a lot of the people, mostly men, yes. right, didn't think it was going to last because we were good friends. So they said, oh, you guys are going to anchor together? This relationship is never going to last. You guys are not going to last. Well, guess what? We proved them wrong. Did you still? Yeah, that's right. You started off as friends, but just how that relationship between the two of you grew over those years. I think you always began this story. I used to start this story, <laughs> yeah. too, because our news director at the time called me into his office right, one day, and he said, I want you to meet a young woman that I just hired, and this is Sylvia Perez. I looked at her, and both of us have that quality where we we can just know instantly, right? And we both knew instantly she's going to be my friend, and it just clicked. Uh, so yeah. we, she basically took me under her wing. I was new to Chicago. Uh, she had already established herself as being, you know, Linda Yu of Chicago News, <laughs> and took me under her wing and guided me and helped me along and let me know st some of the things I should and shouldn't be doing. But I think that's what's so special is, like you said, Linda took you under her wing and kind of helped to show you those ropes and you were able to learn under her. And I feel that's the exact same thing that you've been able to do for me. Oh, as that's well. so nice of you to say. After two years of retirement, Linda is back with a new video series for the Sun Times. Food We Love with Linda Yu. These are going to be stories about why, like say this dish, why it's so important to you that we are having it every single time we're together. And so I still get to tell the stories. And by telling the stories then, then we go into, and oh by the way, this is how you cook this dish. And then of course for me, one of the first people I wanted to do this with was... Me. <laughs> Your bestie, right? And I was thrilled because you know, I got to uh, kind of sh show her the foods I grew up with. It's great after all these years to learn something new from your friend. Yeah. She has never made me arroz con no, I have, uh, abichuelas. Uh, abichuelas. Abichuelas. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. You never made this for yeah. me. Well, it has been an honor and a pleasure to get to interview the two of you. Uh, I it will always be something that's highlighted in my career. I thank you both for being extreme role models for so many women, women in this field, but young women all around. And uh, it's an honor and a privilege to work with both of you. It's an honor and high fives for everybody, hey, okay? okay? Hey.